Hey, welcome to Beyond Film School where I help you learn about the film industry and in this video, we are busting wide open the first assistant director salary. Oh yes, we are talking about money. Before we jump into how much a first assistant director makes, please be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on all the videos I make on the film industry. If you're on this video, I can only assume you know what a first assistant director does. And if you don't, I have a video for you. That playlist will be below for you. You're probably wondering, holy shit, how much does a first AD get paid to hold the production together? Whatever it is, it better be good. To start off, there are two worlds when we're talking about filmmaking. There is the independent freelance world, and there is the union, big blockbuster, multi-million dollar world. Now, when it comes to paying the assistant directors, there's gonna be two different types of pay as well. So there is the indie AD pay, and then there is the union DGA, Directors Guild of America AD pay. And we're gonna talk about both of them. So how much are independent freelance film assistant directors pay? And the simple answer is that it varies wildly. And I'm talking zero dollars to maybe five, six, seven hundred dollars a day. And seven hundred dollars a day is definitely on the maybe the commercial more than fair end. Really depends on the budget of the production. For me starting out and for a lot of other ADs that I know in the independent world, they may have done a one day short film project and gotten paid zero dollars or fifty dollars. Uh, I've even been paid seventy five dollars for one day of work for a short film. And if there's anything you know about assistant directing, there is a certain amount of prep that has to happen before they actually get on set. And when you're talking about getting paid for for an indie gig that's very, very small, you're most likely not going to get paid for any of the prep that you do before you step on set. This is on the really, really low budget, very low budget end, and when you're trying to build your resume. Then as you keep building your resume, you're going to take on more and more projects that are bigger, bigger budget, more complicated, a little bit more troublesome when putting things together, and that's when the higher pay comes, and that's when you start getting paid for prep days, and the more money you're gonna make. That's when you start getting into the three, four, five, six hundred dollars a day, plus you have some a, a travel stipend, then you have per diem, and then they're put you up for the, the, the amount of time that the project is, they give you travel and lodging. It's really awesome when you start going up in the ranks as an AD and all the perks that come with it. I'm not gonna lie. You also might have a deal to get points in the back end that give you a certain percentage of the profits from a project. Now let's discuss the big dogs, the DGA AD. <laughs> the Directors Guild of America Assistant Directors. But first, what is the DGA? The DGA, the Directors Guild of America, to put it simply, is a union that is protecting assistant directors, directors, UPMs, and location managers. All of them fall under the DGA. They are pretty much protecting those folks. They dictate how much is guaranteed pay-wise, and they're also making sure that they get proper turnaround, certain safety precautions are met, while these people people are working on set. But that's only for union shows, TVs and movies and other projects that fall under union rules. If you are clarified to be an independent film, then the DGA has no say. Now I'm gonna go with the general rates of the DGA rate card. And you should know that this is all public information. If you wanna go to the DGA website, please do check it all out, the information's there. But let's give you an example of what a first AD makes. The general rate for a first AD on a daily basis is going to be $1,399 or $1,956. I know, right? That is a lot of money. The lower rate is for stage days and the higher rate is for location days. You're probably asking, why does it matter? Why do they need more money if we're on location? Now, if you're on location, I will tell you as a first AD, when you're on location, logistically speaking, there are more things to figure out, 
more elements, more things to factor in, and it's just more complicated. Just simply put it, it's more complicated when you are shooting on location versus when you're shooting at the stage. I don't know, it's complicated. That's right, it is complicated. There is also a weekly rate for first ADs, and if you're on the stage, you are looking at a weekly rate of $5,595. And if you're on location, you're looking at $7,825 a week. That is nothing to sneeze at. But let's get more specific. Let's do a TV show, a cable TV show in its first season. And let's do an example of how much a first idea would be paid for one season. Now with those specifications for a first AD working on a cable TV show in its first season, the stage daily rate would be $1,365. And on location, they're getting paid $1,909. Now we're gonna get to do some maths, people. Maths. Not math, maths. It's math. So take that cable TV show. Let's say, for example, it, the first season is gonna be 10 episodes. Now it takes about eight days to shoot each episode. That means that first city will be working a total of 80 shoot days. This is not including prep. I am not including prep days because that's a whole other thing that we are not even gonna get, gonna get involved with. Let's just keep that prep days over there. 80 days of shooting is about four to five months of work. That's not a bad gig to be on. Let's say you did 30 days on the stage. 30 days times 1,365. That's gonna come out to $40,950 for those 30 days on the stage. And the remaining days, the 50 days that are remaining there of the 80 total shoot days are gonna be on location. So you have 50 location days. So that's gonna come out to 50 times 1,909. That is 95,450. $50. You have a grand total of $136,400. That's not a bad amount of money for working four to five months. Now that is to say that yes, maybe you have to worry about getting your next gig, but I mean, for me, I would be set for the year, but do not forget there is going to be taxes. They took half of my money away for taxes and some savings and pension plan. The $136,000 that I talked about, that's a gross amount. So don't forget about taxes and don't forget about your lovely union dues that you're gonna owe back to the DGA. <laughs> On top of that crazy money, on top of the daily rate that you're gonna get, there are also some bonuses as well, some extra on top of that. Now, there is a bonus called uh, completion of assignment, which means once you have done the 80 days, you finished the season successfully, you weren't fired, you didn't quit, whatever, you get an additional week of pay. I mean, that's a nice bonus, like, hey, thanks for sticking with us. You finished the gig and now you get a nice little bonus. Also on top of that is that first ADs usually get royalties on the shows they work on. So then they're getting a percentage of the profits as well. And when you're working in the union world, those royalties and the percentage of the profits are nothing, nothing to look down upon because it's probably a lot. And if you're interested in working in commercials as a first AD, they're getting $1,059 per commercial shoot day. Now, like I said before, if you're interested in finding all the rates for the first ADs, the second ADs, second second, the, all those are going to be on the DJ website. I will leave the link for you if you wanna look at all of the rates. I just wanted to cover the first AD because some people just have literally no idea what they're paid and what they're aspiring to. I don't even know what I would do with that type of money because for me, that's a lot of money. Do you think this is a lot of money let me know in the comments if you think it's a lot of money or not but I will say that that rate everything that the first ADs are making it is well deserved because the stress of a first AD is something fierce my friend you don't know stress <laughs> until you've been a first AD. I will tell you that right now, first and foremost, personal experience. If you are curious about any other film position of what they are making, please let me know in the comments. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns about anything film related, please leave it in the comments below or feel free to email me at beyondfilmschool at gmail.com or hit up my website, beyondfilmschool.com or even my Instagram, at beyondfilmschool. And you probably might have noticed that this video, I have two different looks in this video and it's because I definitely had an amateur hour when I shot this video and a couple of minutes that I was shooting I did it all out of focus like what 
kind of rookie mistake is that? What is this, amateur hour? Check your focus, folks. <laughs> Any people who are out there using cameras or a YouTuber, check your focus. So thank you so much for watching this video, but I must announce that I have finally released some merch, some Beyond Film School merchandise. You can get shirts, tote bags, you can get a mug uh, with my lovely logo on it that says Beyond Film School. There's also an awesome shirt that I really, really like that says, ask me if we're rolling, but hit up the link below. It's gonna be below for you. So if you found value in this video, if you find value in what Beyond Film School does, hit up that merch link or that PayPal me link. It really helps Beyond Film School keep going. So that is it for now, and I shall see you next time.